That's wonderful. 6.16 is the time. It's time now for some wild stuff at the and, Erie Zoo. That's right. Scott's giving us a behind-the-scenes peek. Uh, you know, uh, wintertime there, where do all these animals go? Yeah. What do you do with them, Scott? <laughs> but people think for some reason we send them all over the place, but we don't. They all stay right here, but we do have to take steps to keep everybody warm. So we're here behind the scenes in the Asia Tower. So when you walk through Asia after you see the pandas, there's three cases that you see or that you look into that hold various reptiles. And as we know, reptiles can really be susceptible to temperature changes. So we do a lot in the winter to keep them warm. Uh, in the back there, you might be able to see the insulation. So we, we um, insulate the, the glass in the front and then cover it over as well to provide some other barriers. But all of these cases are controlled by a humidity system. Um, and so we, we track not only the temperature, but the humidity as well. And so these are prehensile tailed skinks. And if you can, you can and maybe actually see the mist kind of falling down on them and so that this system will um, regularly mist them to keep the the, the correct humidity and the correct temperature in there so uh, there's two other ones there's some snakes and uh, in the other cases but in each case uh, we, we keep everybody here and you know some of the animals um, do have to go inside and we've talked about that over the course of um, the fall about how at certain temperatures they go inside in various bedrooms to stay uh, to stay warm but a lot of the animals can adapt pretty pretty handily to cold weather you know the the lions actually love the winter and think about where they're from in africa and they don't get a whole lot of snow there so uh th their animals are pretty tough and adaptable but we do things like this to try to keep everybody else warm and cozy uh i will say in our next segment you're going to meet the newest, and I mean literally the newest member of our family. Hopefully she's going to be out. We'll find out in a few minutes. All right, some introductions this morning. You got it. Thank you, Scott. Thanks, Scott. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.